LED strips that you can see behind me and on the table are synced, but not through the software. In today's video, I will show you how to utilize Ethernet synchronization, which basically will allow you to use the standalone mode with multiple controllers without the need of a PC and the running software. Three controllers that can utilize Ethernet synchronization you can see on the table. It is LED Ethernet Controller 3, SPI Matrix and Reactivo. Ethernet synchronization greatly expands your options with standalone mode for these three controllers. So let's assume that you have done everything in the software properly. You have mapped your strips, you have exported the effects into correct controllers. Some of the previous articles were about this very topic, how to export the effects for LEC3, how to export effects for multiple controllers and how to utilize the dummy device in your mapping and in your export. So make sure to check those out. If you have done this properly, the next step is to set up everything in the web config and that is for the LEC3 controller and also for Reactivo. Each controller is now playing its own effect, as you can see here. If we will go to web configuration, for the SPI matrix that we have on the table, uh, you can see that uh, it is now currently in a autoplay mode. You can check it in the device settings, in the status tab and also in the status bar, where you can find the settings for the Ethernet synchronization. You will go into advanced settings, scroll down and there you will find some beta features one of those is how to set up or settings for the synchronization over ethernet network for each device you have two options either the device can be a master which means that it is sending out the synchronization data synchronization signal or it can be a slave so it is listening to those uh, synchronization data the big difference between LEC3 SPI matrix and the Reactivo on the other hand is that while in synchronization mode in a master settings, LEC3 and SPI matrix cannot utilize the outputs. That means it is only serving as a synchronization unit. The Reactivo on the other hand can utilize the output and it can send out synchronization data to other controllers in the zone and on the network. So we want to use Reactivo in this case as a synchronization master device. So we will set this SPI matrix as a slave. Next thing that you have to uh, set is in which zone this device is in. You can have multiple zones and multiple master controllers and obviously multiple slave controllers. We only have one zone, but if you uh, want to have more in your project, you are very free to have those. So we will set the sync zone to one and we will hit uh, save synchronization settings. Next step is to set the other device that will be our other slave device or the other device that will be listening for the synchronization data from the master device. So again, in LEC3 controller, we will go into advanced settings, scroll down and there in beta features, we will find synchronization and we will set this one to be slave as well. Don't forget to change the synchronization zone. And that is basically it, the very basic settings that you have to do for the slave controllers. For the Reactivo, which will be our master, we will go into its uh, web configuration tool and we will find settings. Again, scroll down a bit and then you will hit network sync settings. As mentioned, this will be our master device. Here you can change the zone and if you would like, you can also change the name of the zone here. Can be, right? This zone name you can find in the LSS remote app. If you have multiple reactive controllers, you can create the zones in the zones in this app and you can find them by, by their name. So very handy. And don't forget to hit save 
settings. Check out what will happen once I will set the Reactivo to be a master sync unit. We can change the uh, camera. And now I will now change it to master. And you can see that right away, the animations stored on an SD card are playing uh, at the same time. We can go into the player of Reactivo and I can now change different animation. And this is how you will be changing the animations. Uh, you will be only changing the animation on your master device. So once you will select the animation on that single unit, it will change the effects on all controllers that you have in the same zone and on the same network. You can use to change the animations. Uh, you can use uh, DMX, you can use uh, external triggers if you are working with Reactivo, and uh, you can use Artnet, you can use the buttons, you can use HTTP triggers, basically anything that uh, is available with these controllers. And this is basically it, how you can utilize the Ethernet synchronization and how you can set it up. If you have any questions in regards to this, let us know.